So one problem I've noticed with yards as well is trash cans. So it's trash or recycle day. And to simulate how this is a problem is, where the robot has run out of battery. I've sent it to the perimeter wire to go to the charging station. And in the path is a trash can, which is a obstacle along the boundary wire path. So you can see there it's gonna be stuck. It can't move, it's gonna keep backing up and going forth and it's gonna do many attempts to try to get around this obstacle or push the trash can around. And what will happen is it will actually stop right there. You see it just stopped right now. And it knows it's stuck. There's a large obstacle of some kind in its path so it can no longer continue moving. And what what's gonna happen though? See, the, you're thinking to yourself, Baron, I already know this because you talked about the perimeter wire in the last video on how it can't be unobstructed. So when you're putting your trash cans out, you have to know that you can't put them on the grass really in the way of the robot. And what'll happen is we've lost, um, you can, we can lose robots. We've lost a couple robots like this. Fortunately, we've gotten, uh, gotten them back uh, because the trash men pick this up. Because they look at this, they don't know what it is and they just assume it's sitting next to the trash can like it is right now and that it is trash. And so they take it and throw it away. And if we don't get it recovered in time, it gets sent to the dump. Now, when you sign a contract with us, you're actually liable for issues like this under your homeowner's insurance. If um, the trash man picks it up like this and you're careless about putting your trash can out, you gotta be careful about it. So. What I'm doing here, instead of having my trash can here on the grass of the boundary wire, I put it here on the side of the pavement. Now, there's another issue. You think it's safe here, and it is, but I'm gonna show you one other spot where it might not be safe. Now, some of the yards we do installation on, we have what we, um, the boundary wire is going across the driveway, usually it's we have it here, but you can see where, if you look at your driveway, we can see where we've cocked it down. It would be cocked, the wire would be cocked along this expansion crack going all the way across. So if I leave my trash can here, it will have the same air. In other words, the robot will come across here, go into the boundary wire, get stuck, and the trash man unknowingly will take our poor little robot friend away. So you have to watch out where you're putting uh, the trash cans at. If you're confused, you can always call me or contact me through email and show me a spot where you want to put the trash can. Typically, we don't put the edge on the lip of the driveway here is too steep for our robot. We wouldn't want it to slide down that and damage the blade. So the trash can placement would be pretty fine as you'd expect to be right about here. I'm far enough away from the grass to where it won't run on, won't run up on uh, to the trash can and the trash can is on the curb for the trash man to pick up. I know it sounds simple and it might sound seem kind of silly but the reality is this is very important because if you carelessly put your trash cans out you will get the, ro the robot will appear like it's stolen You'll be like, where's my robot? Where'd it go? And the reality is the most probable situation is the trash man has picked up your robot.